What is up, YouTube? I am back with a new episode of My Time at Porsche. Sorry for the odd intro. I was I got up because I realized the Celtics were on. If you guys don't know, I'm from Rhode Island, which means I'm essentially from Massachusetts, which means I'm a huge Celtics fan. And right now it's playoffs. So I got up and finished watching that after that last episode that I filmed, whenever the last one was. And... So I just ended up, I paused it between that and watching the Celtics. So if you hear any shouting, it's because my fam's watching the Celtics. And I think I'll be done with this episode before the game's over so I can watch that, watch the end. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, okay, now, <laughs> back to the game. We're going to be finishing the, uh, i out of copper. We're going to be finishing the uh, crane today. For one, if you guys don't remember, I did leave that from yesterday to go to uh, be today's little little goal. I think it's a good one to have. Some might say it's crane time. Let's get all that working. Let's pick up all the deuces. And let's start petting the sheep and cows, making sure everyone's happy, happy. And then we'll uh, throw that whole holster on the crane and go turn that in. I believe that is to help build the museum. Or it's either the museum or the bridge. But I want to say this was for the guy that wanted to build the museum. So maybe we might have a museum done soon. Which that would be a really cool achievement to get, to get a museum done. I'd be very happy with that. Then I can actually start turning in all these items you find in the... All those items you find while mining, like the soldier body parts and stuff, you find like soldier body parts, the nutcracker body parts, uh, they all can turn into, yeah, I'm almost out of food, yeah, I'm almost out of food. Uh, oh, this isn't bad, we'll just fill it up with that. Uh, yeah, all those things can turn into... Exhibits in the uh, museum. Sorry, I could not think of the word exhibit for some reason. Exhibit, everyone's favorite. Uh, oh my goodness, Pimp My Ride host. <laughs> I don't know what else he did besides the host Pimp My Ride. I, I have a feeling he did nothing else, but I don't know. Well, obviously he's a rapper. But... Yeah, but in reality, we all know him for hosting Pimp My Ride, the best the best show about turning people's cars into ridiculous campers. I remember, okay, I'm, I'm going to go on a little, little tangent here. I remember watching Pimp My Ride, okay? And I remember they would do, I remember they would like, someone would be like, oh, I like to cook. And they'd be like, he, this man, he likes to cook. You know what we should do? Let's turn his trunk of his freaking Subaru into a whole grill, into a gas-fired grill. And everyone's like, dude, like, and then they start showing off, they're like, we heard you like to cook, so now you can cook in your Subaru. And they're like, okay, it's, one, it's still a Subaru. Two, the hell am I doing cooking burgers out of the trunk of my Subaru? Where am I going to store my groceries and stuff? Now I have no trunk space because there's a freaking grill there. Like, it's the dumbest, it's the dumbest thing. I'm convinced they didn't want these people to enjoy the cars at all. Freaking cook out of the back of my freaking Subaru. It's a Subaru! <laughs> I just want it to drive well. But that was never an option. This is a pretty good one. We'll do this pose. Nice. Yeah, and then I remember... And then they throw, like, actual, like, surround... Not surround sound. Like, at, like in, like, TV speakers into these people's houses... Into these people's, not into the people's houses, that would make sense. Into these people's trunks, it's like you can't even hear it from the inside. Firepowered generator. What the heck's a firepowered generator? Hi, Sonia. Hey, I was thinking you 
to join us for our regular trend-setting meeting today. Just don't get Anton started on necktie. Okay, I'd love to join you for your little meeting today. That'd be cool. And I definitely won't get him started on neckties. What the heck is... Why would he... I, why, what makes you think I'd be sitting there like, Hey, man. Neckties? And he'd be like, Oh, baby, neckties. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go turn in this uh, crane. This is going to be huge. Albert? Magnificent job. We'll install this right away and get Nice. Heck, you might even want to place one of these in the museum someday. Hey, let's go. I got a filing cabinet. What the heck is a filing cabinet? Max stamina 8. Let's go. Let's go throw that inside and then we can go attend this meeting and not talk about neckties. I've the word necktie has been blacklisted from the meetings. Which I guess it's an okay word to blacklist, I don't know. Guess you can interpret it how you want. I want to see what this fire fire started stove is. Fire powered generator. It takes a civil furnace to make it. Ten plates, a civil furnace, craft with a level two work. Work to oh that's that. What's so special about it? I kind of just want to build it. What does it take to make a so we need ten steel plates? That's gonna be the big problem. The rest of the metal coils that's easy. Copper coils easy. We have so much. Oh maybe we don't have a lot of iron anymore. We have a little bit of we have enough iron actually. Oh and we already have a bunch of those. Um. Hmm. I say we make it. What do we need for a civil furnace? Well, that's easy. We can make that. It's the freaking so many steel plates. We need like 15 steel plates to make this thing. It takes so much car carbon steel to make a freaking steel plate. I'm never going to have that much. Is there a quicker way to find steel plates? I mean, steel ingots or whatever. Oh, look what we got here. Anything I want? I kind of really want these, but I'm not going to. It's all for large planters. I could buy a large planter and build another one. I don't want to waste the data disks though. Hi Nora. Oh. Hey. Hi Nora. Can I arrive in Porsche? Gift. Hello. Have you ever heard of Gift? Hi. Hi Phyllis. A present? Arlo. What does he want? I'm not getting you that freaking order of hot sauce with spaghetti or whatever you want. Hot sauce with spaghetti. Spaghetti with hot sauce. I already talked to him. Alright, let's check out our dailies. What do we got for options here? We got, uh... Metal storage. I think that's ingots. I don't want to waste ingots. Six fiber cloth, that's doable. Fourth strengthened glass. I feel like I already have that. So we're just going to go for that. So I feel like I have four, th four strengthened glass. I definitely have four strengthened glass. Right? If I don't have it, I can make it. Yeah, no, I have it. Okay, let's go get out of that glass. We'll go buy some roses for Alice. Uh, what else do we need to do? Hey. Talk to Emily. A fruit? I, I don't have a fruit set. I have a pumpkin pie. 
I'll probably attend their meeting today. I think that happens at night. Are they going to tell me to make something? They're going to be like, oh, well, you are the builder. Can you make us something? I'd be like, dude, you invited me to this meeting. Now you're having me do your chores? You see anything you like? I see something I like. Alice, why aren't we friends yet? Are we getting... We must be getting close at this point, right? Like, come on. Oh, I think one more day of giving her flowers. We're going to be buddies. And then can you say date? Okay, let's pop into there. Merlin. Give me a logic cube. It's, it's a, is Rubik's 5% crit? I think this one gives me 10. Yeah, that's cool though. Hmm. Is uh, Rubik's cube must be copyrighted then, huh? Because they would just say Rubik's. Is it like a uh, Kleenex? Can I get you a Kleenex? It's considered just tissue. I feel like I wanted to do something. Now I can't remember what it was. Hello. I add it. I, run into some I think you like wood. I gave someone wood in another Thank episode. Nice. Do you like potato? Eh, you don't really care about potato. Yeah, I feel like there was something I wanted to do. Now I can't remember what it was. I assume it happens at a certain time, right? I can't just pop into you and be like, hey guys, let's have that meeting. I was like, wait a second, everyone's coming in? No, you can't. Maybe I could go win Arlo's hot sauce spaghetti. Ready, is that what this is? Classic, oh no, it's cl with classic meat sauce. This isn't even spaghetti. It's not even spaghetti. Oh, never mind. Looks like I can't get him what he wants. Hi, Nora. Fifteen metal plates. That's going to take me literally forever. The more I think about it, the more I'm going to regret getting it. We are almost out of copper. I could go... I don't want to jump into the mine, though. Is there a better way to get carbon steel? Like, carbon steel bar. Uh, hmm. It doesn't look like there's a better way to get carbon steel bars. Unless I get a recycling machine. What does it take to get a recycling machine? Give 20 data disks. Huh. What does this fire power generator do? Fire power generator is used to power other crafting stations. It can also be requested in a commission or donated. Why do they get 10 days to patch it The generator has a maximum time of. Are you telling me that the. I don't think the firepower generator works as a normal generator. Huh. Hmm. Maybe we don't want to build that. 
I'll look it up later, but I'll probably look it up between episodes to make sure that I'm not building something we don't want. I really don't want to hold on to this Rubik's Cube. Or the fountain pen. I, I, I was watching this dude who reviews pens. My god, the guy's so interesting. Imagine, okay, you know what always interests me? When I get, a, when I stumble upon someone on YouTube who has, like, a really weird thing they do. Like, they have this really weird cult following of, like, I don't know. Reviewing fountain pens. I don't know. Uh, their dog doing jobs. I've talked about that one before. I don't know, just these really odd, these really odd things that do, they do. And they just, they just love this really niche market so much. They love they love a little niche market and they just have like a freaking grip hold on that niche market on YouTube. So interesting. Seeing how these people seeing like how many people can kill it on YouTube with like different categories of things that you don't even think about. Of course you have the normal of course you have the normal channels. You have the gaming channels like me. You have the you have the family channels, the vloggers, but then there's like these really odd niche ones. I have to say the dog one's my favorite example, where it's this dude that just talks about his freaking dog herding ducks. And that's like the whole channel. It's just him walking around a farm, watching his dog herd ducks. Like it's the most, I talked about this before, but it's just like so odd that that has a whole community where he's pulling like hundreds of thousands of views just his dog chilling out herding ducks, them doing their daily routine. The dude just carries like a GoPro with them. Like, what? <laughs> and there's so many people who love to watch it. It's just so funny to me. It's like a market you don't even know exists until this one dude just freaking kills it. And then they'll of course be copycats. Well, I guess they're not copycats. Nobody owns a like, nobody owns a piece of the market or owns a certain genre of videos. Like, people have perfected genres of videos. Doesn't mean that it's, like, their genre. Like, oh my goodness, what was that dude's name? There's that one dude who started, like, I don't want to say he made the family cha the family channel. The sh- not- the sh- starts with an S. Oh my goodness. Darts with an S. The Schneiders or something? The dude ended up getting in drama. But, uh... Ended up getting drama and I don't think they did. But they were doing daily uploads of, like, the fa of their family. And they kind of, like... Were, like, some of the originators of the family channel. And then, of course, everyone followed. But it's not like they owned the genre of family channels. Just thought that was really interesting. But yeah, there's all these little communities of people who end up making these little new markets that people don't know exist, and then a bunch of people end up copying them. Or I feel like Casey Neistat kind of perfected the perfected vlogging at one point, like five years ago. He was like the vlogger. Like if you were talking about YouTube and vloggers, it was Casey Neistat. Whether you like him or not, I don't know. I don't know if anyone actually doesn't like him. He just seems like a pretty normal dude, kind of doing his thing. But whether you like him or not, the dude perfected that whole market of uh, vlogging. The guy figured it out of the daily vlog. Not the first, uh, not the first, obviously, but he was, I feel like, the first to perfect it the way that he did. The way he pulled his mark in and stuff. Maybe I'm missing someone. That's always a possibility. As you guys know, these cha these episodes are just on the fly. I don't, like, set up a skit or anything. Maybe I should. I've thought about that. I've thought about going to channels with, like, a, uh... Like, if I have a video coming... It's... See, it's tough when I do daily, because me writing a skit every day for a video seems silly. Maybe if I was doing, like, I don't know, weekly uploads, I'd probably do that. But with daily, it's just not, a. Uh... I don't want to say it's not worth my time, but it's not, a. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, nope, I'll stick with not worth my time. I don't think that's the best way to put it, but the amount of time I put into filming, for me to, s the fact that I film sometimes six episodes in a day to try and pre-film, uh, I can't sit there and have six different ideas for videos by the end of the day. I'd be, be drained. I'm already drained just doing the normal talking of whatever's on my head. So for me to go out of my way and make a whole skit for every episode like that just doesn't seem like a, uh, doesn't seem like a good, okay, maybe it's not a good way for me to spend my time. It's not waste my time, but it's not a good way for me to spend my time. I could, should be doing it on other things like commenting on videos, which I never do. Did I miss? Hey, I was thinking you could join us for our regular trendsetting meeting today. When is it? Is it now? Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. Unless it starts later, that's definitely a possibility. They usually have it right over here, right? Hi. I think I missed it, guys. Is becoming Hi. I don't know. I might have missed the trend setting meeting. I feel like it's now. Actually, no, they usually sit right here. Maybe if I leave and come back, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. Oh, it's Dr. Zoo! Did I already give you... No, I didn't. That was last episode. Herbal tea for Dr. Zoo. Hey. Hey. You get plank of wood. Hey. Dane Joe. Thanks, bud. I have a lot of recipes. Huh, nice to see you again. I'm... Uh, in a good mood. You want to know about... Yeah, I'll listen. The problem is I don't have a cooking thing yet. Hmm? Oh, all right. Give it... You're supposed to be at the annual trend-setting hey. meeting. Skin care is a basic... Does he stand here and watch Dr. Zoo? Or does he practice his miming? Hey. Sometimes I, think I, I don't know the difference between all the brothers. You know what's really weird? All the brothers, all these guys, I think all like eight of them <laughs> can be romantic partners if you're actually, well, I assume you can, I assume this game doesn't give a crap if you're a boy or a girl. I'm always looking for new books. So, maybe you could freaking have them in a relationship if you're a boy. But either way, that's so odd. I hate them all. Well, I guess I don't hate them, but... No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay behind my word hate. I'm not gonna pull back the... Pull back the language on those five brothers or whatever they are. They're all very odd to me. I think they purposely make them odd, so I don't mind saying that. I don't think they're trying to make them the most likable people. I meant to craft the 12 more. And craft the other 9 more. Yeah. I don't think I got enough copper to keep... Fixing the copper problem over here. Right. Do I? Did I? Not really. Yeah. It's a little bit better, I guess. Eh. We ought to see. I should probably change one of these off to charcoal. Okay, I'm going to run back up there. 
before the end of the day to see if I can do my annual trend-setting meeting. I still feel like it's not late enough for that. Okay, let's go check if I can do my trend-setting meeting. Or if I'm... I feel like I must have missed it, right? It's already almost... Yeah, it wouldn't be this late, would it? Do I just sit? What if I sat? Hey! I was thinking you could join us for our regular trendsetting meeting today. Just don't get Anton started on. Are you guys having your annual trendsetting meeting? Yeah, I must have missed it. Maybe it was at like 8 or something. I don't know. Because I've been there for her and she told me to make her a blender. She's like, hello, annual trendsetting meeting. We should go on diet. Should go on blended fruit diet. I was like, oh, great. That sounds like a good idea. Noah's going to make it. He's welcomed here just for the diet. <laughs> I don't think it's actually for a diet. That would have been a funny twist of it. Twist of the game, though. That can go back in there. Freaking springs, man. Uh, we got three steel plates. We need so many more. And I still don't even know if that's what we want to build. I might wait to build it. I think I'm going to wait on building it. I'm going to keep making the steel plates just in case, but we're probably... It's probably a no-go. What am I looking at for money, by the way? 24k. We're almost there. I think I'm going to go to sleep now. But thank you guys so much for watching. In this episode, we got that crane done. Let's go. In the next episode, I don't know. Am I actually going to start working on it? Maybe. We'll be able to at least build the one. I just don't know if it's worth it. Maybe we should be building an advanced skiver. I don't even know what it does. The printing press we already built. Yeah, I need to look up what the skiver does and the fire-powered generator. But I'll be doing that between episodes. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button and leave a comment. And make sure you're subscribed. I think most of you are already subscribed, but, you know, I always love another subscription. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Bye.